Okay, this is a quick tutorial on using the Paramac for Neutronics model creation. So I'm in a new empty folder here, and I'm just going to open up the Jupyter Notebook. This is the same folder on this navigation. We can see it's it's empty, and now we will make our, our Jupyter Notebook, and that will appear. So import Paramac is the, uh, the first stage. And then we're going to make a few simple geometries. So here's the first simple geometry. And if you're not sure about the geometry creation, there is a, a video on that. So we won't go into that in detail on this one. So the first uh, error I've made is distance needs setting for an extrusion, of course. And that, there it is. We've got a red part, but it's coming up in green. That's no good. So let's add some additional information there. So the color. And we will add um, a name as well. You can see the name is not showing here. So we just add a name. And then it will be called red part. Great. I'm going to add a materials tag as well. And that will become uh, important later. It has no visual impact, and I'm going to add an STP file name um, as well. This will just be redpart.step, um, and I'll add a STL file name as well. So this isn't necessary, but uh, it gives you greater control over how these parts are exported later. So I'm also going to make a, a gray shape as well. So here's a gray shape. It's very similar, but it's got slightly different file names and a different material tag and a different color and, of course, different coordinates. So you can then put them both together and view them in this uh, Jupyter Notebook visualizer. Uh, so we can we can do a few things here, like uh, default orientations, and we can switch things off and switch other parts off. Um, so that's very useful. Of course, there is also exporting options, export um, many options for files. So step files, and you can see now that I have two step files in my folder. And I also have um, a graveyard step file, which DAGMC needs to do neutron transport. You can export STLs as well and you can see that they appear in my output folder as well. So the next stage is to use OpenMC. So here is a very um, simple OpenMC source. This is a point source at 0, 050 0, and it's 14 MeV and it's got a one 100% uh, chance of producing uh, 14 MeV particles and it's isotropic. So we're going to use uh, the Paramac to make a neutronics model now. So this is a new class and we're going to say the geometry is both both of these parts, which is, is this thing that we're looking at here. And we're going to say the source is this source here that we just made, a super simple source. And we just have to match up the materials. So there's a, a database uh, used called the Neutronics Material Maker. You can pass open MC materials as well, but if you pass strings, it uses the Neutronics Material Maker, and that's a whole other video. But this is the simplest simulation that you could do. If you were to make your model and then to simulate it, that would be great. And you can see it's, it's simulating away here. So it's loaded up OpenMC, it's loaded up the nuclear data, and it's simulating. The next stage would be to add uh, mesh tallies and cell tallies. So mesh tallies are added like this. You can do 2D and 3D mesh tallies. You just give it an arbitrary uh, reaction or uh, something like heating. And you can do the same with cell tallies. And of course, you can specify all the details, but I'll just run it with the default settings. So this is going to do the same 100 batches with uh, 
3D mesh tallies, 2D cell, mesh tallies and cell tallies. And we will see here that um, it's going to produce some um, H5n files for the output. So star.h5, when that finishes, oh, nearly done, it's produced uh, the stapler file, which contains all the results. However, it also produces some um, images for convenience of the 2D mesh tally. I can load up. And these are viewed from different angles. This is a heating. This is the tritium production. Just that one cell had lithium in. And these are all the different angles. So there's our CAD with our 2D tallies. If we want to access our 3D tallies, they are in the H5M file, but they're also output as um, BTK files. So I'll just load up one of them quickly. Here's the tally, and it records all the scores, even the zero points. So I just have to do a little filter to get the actual results showing. There's my 3D mesh tally on the OpenMC model. To access the cell tallies, they are returned with the model. So I can do my model dot results to get them, and we see a dictionary of. Um, of results for each um, tally. Great, thanks very much for listening. If you are interested, the best way to uh, use this is on the documentation. There's a Docker image which you can download, run, and it contains all of the Neutronics dependencies that are needed. Thanks, bye.